Hi. You know, Muslims always love to speak about the fact that Jesus was never crucified. Yes, Jesus never was crucified. It's a lie. That's what they said. <laughs> All right. Today, we're going to destroy that claim. We're going to destroy the lie of Muhammad, the fake prophet of Islam. Because it's nothing but a lie. And there's only one, only one ayah in the Quran that speaks about the crucifixion of Jesus. So they have to rely on one ayah and one ayah alone. Poor Muslims, I pity you. So guys, let us go to this ayah in the Quran. If we go to chapter 4, ayah 157, Surah An-Nisa, Ayah 157. It says in the Arabic, ibn Maryam, Rasulullahi, wama kataluhu, wama salabuhu, walakin shubbiha lahum. So let me go to the translation. And for their saying, indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but another was made to resemble to him. Right? So it says that the Jews, the, it's their saying, the Jews saying, they are talking here. Indeed, we have killed the Messiah. Right? So the Jews are saying, we killed the Messiah. Let me quote what Muhammad Hijab said in the debate with David Wood. For 4,000 years, no Jew have ever said we killed the Messiah. I challenge any Muslim, I challenge any Muslim to show me from any historical book, from any Jewish historian who said, or any Jew who claims that he has killed the Messiah. I challenge you right here right now to prove me wrong so Jews are still waiting for the Messiah to come they never <laughs> made the claim we killed the Messiah no 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 they didn't even believe that Jesus was the Messiah right so that's a false claim and and it's clearly says وَقَوْلِهِمْ so they are saying right they are saying so the Jews are saying they killed the Messiah, but that's false because they are still waiting for the Messiah. So no Jew will ever make this claim. So here Muhammad is doing poo poo. He is lying from the back of his teeth. He's a liar and a deceiver. So Muhammad, we, you got busted by the first part. Fake prophet of Islam. Done. It says, and they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. Well, wait a second. Since when did the Jews ever in history crucify people? Nowhere. At that time, in the time of Jesus, the Romans were in charge. The Romans were the only ones with authority to crucify people. Right? Only the Romans crucified people. The Jews, their punishment for blaspheming was stoning. Right? So another lie by Muhammad. Lie number one. Lie number two. Right? Then it says, but another was made to resemble to him. Now guys, where do you think Muhammad got the idea from? This last part. I'm going to show you that Muhammad is nothing but a stealer of ideas that used to circle around in the Arabic Peninsula, around the Mediterranean Sea, actually. This was not his idea. He simply stole it. He copied it. He borrowed it. And he put it in this ayah. I remember, guys, this is the only ayah that speaks about the crucifixion so muslims are dependent on this ayah if we can destroy this ayah today and we are doing so as you see we already destroyed 
claim number one and claim number two we're going to destroy claim number three and let me show you where Muhammad stole this last part from as we know Muhammad the fake prophet of Islam was born in 571 and he died in 632 so Muhammad when he became a prophet he became a prophet in the year 610 so that's in the 7th century but four centuries earlier there was this document this writing this Gnostic writing called the second treatise of the great set it was a well-known Gnostic writing that used to circle around in the Arabic Peninsula this document this writing was well known people had access to this document including Muhammad remember Muhammad was working under Khadija and Waraq ibn Nufil, he had access to many Aramaic writings including this one so now you will understand if you re will read with me where Muhammad got the idea from that another was made resemble to him remember but another was to resemble him to them right so if we go back if we go back it says the author appears to belong to a group of Gnostic who maintain that Jesus Christ was not crucified on the cross instead the text says that Simon of Cyrene was mistaken for Jesus and crucified in his place so now you guys will understand where Muhammad borrowed the story from so another one was crucified instead even if you go to the tafsir of the Quran you will see that there are tafsir that says that another person was put on the cross instead of Jesus right so as you see Muslims and Christians you know now understand how this ayah was fabricated by Muhammad Muhammad stole this whole ayah from the second treaties of the great said and Muslims are dependent on this ayah alone because there is no other ayah that mentions the crucifixion as it does in this one right so Muslims your prophet has been spanked he got busted and he was served for the third time because he stole this ayah from the great Seth the second treatise of the great Seth because someone else was put on the cross for him instead so Muslims wake up leave this cult because we just proved to you that Muhammad was nothing but a thief a scam who was borrowing stories from here and there and he created and fabricated the Quran the whole Quran is nothing but a fabrication borrowing stories from legend stories from the Jews from uh, the Persians from many Christian accounts like the seven sleepers that we mentioned in our last debate the seven Christian sleepers of Ephesus another story that Muhammad simply borrowed from the Christians and found back in the Quran this is another example guys this is not a big thing this is simply a, a stolen writing man-made writing in the third century remember the New Testament the letters and the Gospels were written in the first century so you had a lot of groups who wanted to deny the crucifixion and they wrote a man-made Gnostic writing to attack the person of Jesus Christ to attack the divinity of Jesus Christ and Muhammad simply copied it 
from this writing, from this source. So thank you for watching, guys. Please download this important video, share it around on social media, and thank you for watching. God bless.